All right, here I am again. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have for some cooling ideas. Um, so I decided to get this uh, radiator here. It's the uh, EK Quantum Surface. It's the Xtreme uh, 560, so X560M. Uh, interesting thing about this one is it's their widest, um, thick, thickest, I guess, um, um, radiator, and they it also is uh, um, wide as well, where it has um, 140 millimeter fans uh, that that are supposed to be mounted to this one instead of the uh, I guess normal three or the normal uh, 120 millimeter fans. Um, so any which way, I decided to get that and a stack of uh, um, fans from EK. So I'm going to give this a try. Uh, the other thing that I have is these are some older uh, radiators that I have. Um, these are EK CloudStream PE. Uh, so these are performance, and they're supposed to be the, the one kind of in the middle related to thickness. Um, these are 480 and it's quad fans. So just like this one, it, it has four fans. Um, and then I ended up getting a bunch of uh, Noctua Chromax uh, fans for those. Um, this is one of them that have been pieced together. So you can kind of see how that looks. Um, pretty nifty, huh? Yeah. Anyways, the sense is, uh, I was gonna probably put two of these, mount them onto this, uh, rig that I have and then take this one and kind of mount it to uh, or maybe not mount it but kind of put it into the shelf right here. Um, the other thing that I ended up picking up are these. Uh, this is the Noctua NAFH1. Uh, you can kind of see the layout here. What I think is kind of neat about these is um, they're kind of magnetic so you can actually See on the back here, they have like four magnets and you can take that and you can stick it to, you know, something metal and it'll just stay on there. Um, since this cart is also metal, um, the thinking is I could just probably kind of mount it and it won't move or budge. So kind of nifty. We'll have to see how these work out. Anyways, so that's my setup and let me see if I can put this stuff together and figure out where it's all going to situate before I start running hoses and such. I wanted to give you a quick shot of this. Um, it's pretty impressive. I decided to do uh, a push and a pull. So um, on the back side, I decided to put some fans on this radiator as well. Since this is a very thick radiator, uh, I figured that having uh, two sets of fans would probably help it. Um, have to see how this works out. I'm pretty excited. I also um, took the other radiators and put them in place. So you can kind of see that right here. Um, I have the kind of that controller there. Um, can't really see it clearly there, but kind of, um, yeah, there it is. I ended up kind of um, sticking it just to the side of the radiator, I like the magnets. Magnets are pretty cool. But um, yeah, we're, let me uh, put this other radiator kind of back in position or into the position where it will be and start sticking some hoses and stuff. All right, so this is the uh, placement of the other radiator. Kind of see that I kind of put it in between the, uh, the cart right there. And uh, I put the controller there, uh, decided to wire up the pump to go to there and then the fans um, for the radiator on that side, kind of just wrap around and uh, connect up to here. Um, I'm going to have to figure out kind of how to lay out the power and hope the cords all reach. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I ended up doing. All right, check this out. So I have the um, kind of the plumbing in place. Uh, left side is where water goes in, right side is where water goes out from the, uh, the water block for the CPU. Um, I decided to take an EVGA 1000 uh, watt um, titanium power supply uh, just to 
kind of test things out. I may end up using this for powering maybe just the motherboard and such, um, and then use another power supply for other types of things. Uh, the other thing that I ended up doing, uh, let's see if I can kind of get this cleared here. But you can kind of see that I have this, uh, yeah, that's a pretty big uh, reservoir. Um, and then of course I have the two radiators next to it. Um, I have the controller wired um, to go to the motherboard, but it's not being used. Not right now. Um, what else here? Oh, so the, the way I kind of mounted this also, um, I use these kinds of uh, clamps that uh, EK provides. Um, and then I have a 90 degree kind of an angled uh, pump bracket. That's actually, this is the bracket. So it's a 420 millimeter uh, fan. Uh, this can actually attach to some sort of point that's the, that would hold the fan. And then uh, I ended up kind of connecting the, the um, reservoir to that. Um, so the way this is set up right now is the water goes out of here, down, and goes to the CPU. Then it returns back. And as it returns, it go, the, the hot water will go into the radiator, the top here. Then it will flow through the radiator. And then we'll come back right up here and fill the reservoir. And then from the reservoir, it'll go back into the pump and then the cycle will start all over again where it will go back to the CPU. Um, I'll probably end up modifying this. I did put some quick disconnects here. These are uh, cool lands, quick disconnects um, at various places. So that way I can kind of modify this or be able to kind of disassemble and remove the pump alone um, and maybe uh, remove the, the um, um, radiator alone or remove the uh, CPU cooler um, by itself. So yeah, this is uh, pretty heft hefty here. I also have a meter that I put down here on the floor. Uh, you can't probably see it through this camera, but um, I can tell how much power is being drawn. Um, if I turn on just the, I have this setup where um, I have just the little dongle that's attached you can see right here attached to the power supply and it kicks in uh, by just touching the the power button there um, you can see that it's kind of running right now maybe it will focus yeah every now and then you'll see some air kind of still being worked out through the system in which case I use the the top right here to kind of bleed the air out and uh, put more water in. Um, but it tells me that it's at, let's see here, 51.6 um, watts being drawn. And then if I put the fans on um, and plug them and run them, I actually get up to about 100 watts. So that would be all the fans for these two. And then uh, all of the fans down here for this radiator as well. Uh, one more thing to mention is that um, I did have this 110 uh, millimeter um, reservoir and I did put that directly on top of this pump um, and it worked great except for uh, there was a problem. Uh, I guess maybe it didn't work great. The problem was that every time the water would go in through the top here, um, because it was so short, there'd be this uh, cyclone of bubbles, and then the bubbles would get sucked in uh, by the, the pump directly. So what I did here is I added this longer reservoir that I had. Uh, this is a 400, uh, well, they say 400, but I think it's like 355 millimeter. Um, and then have that kind of uh, pull the water in to the pump and then uh, the get gets fed right at the top and then kind of circles around. 
So this seems to uh, work a lot better than having that, that small 110 um, uh, reservoir on the top.